guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's your girl here, Vicky, with a new episode of the Ever Messy Stratical of Magic Theories, episode 33. Wow, guys, we've gone so far, and it's just getting better and better. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry because I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Like, it's been about five days or six days. And I've been really busy. I started school, and I'm going to have, like, exams next week. So I just decided to do this video um, before it comes up, and then I could then study. So that's why I want to make this one really quick. Uh, but I'm not going to rush it that much. I'm not going to rush it. Let's just go with the flow, but let's not go off board really quick. And yeah, wish me best luck next week, guys. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, this episode was a whole crazy episode. Every episode of this thing is crazy, and it's just amazing that way. So I'm just going to have a brief explanation done, and we can go into the mysteries. So we can give our theories. Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, guys, literally in this whole episode, we all remember the last episode, Cat Noir was caught stealing the Fox Miraculous. What is that all about? But he says he didn't do it. Well, that drama is carrying on around in Starlight. The S DC superhero girls are looking for Supergirl? Like she's just missing all of a sudden. And yeah, Harley got a change of heart, guys. So in the whole episode, they keep looking for Supergirl until they find her with a new boss and new followers. Okay, guys, with CC Prime, CC1, and CC2. And the fact that there's this mystery phone now, and Cat Noir not remembering what he did. Guys, this is a whole lot of sus, 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 sus. How can he just remember? It is so dramatic that we have to get into it right now. Like, this has to be the craziest ep ever. And it's just amusing. So, guys, with no further ado, let's get into the theories we have today. So, yeah, guys, like we said, Cat Noir is so, like, so... Memory, I don't even know what to call it, guys. He doesn't remember stealing the fox miraculous, and that's why I'm like, This is so sus. How can he do something bad and not remember? Or it couldn't have been him, but they aren't two cat noirs, right? Or maybe it was cat blank or something, but cat, cat blank is like white. You know, I didn't really watch the real miraculous city bus, so I don't know what cat blank looks like, but I know like he's the akumatized version of Cat Noir. I don't even get it because guys just let me know. Let me know. What is I, I don't understand. Is Cat Blank Cat Noir's akumatized form or like an evil Cat Noir that's not inside Cat Noir? Do you guys get what I mean? Like a separated Cat Noir that's just evil. I don't really know because I didn't really watch the series much so I don't know who Cat Blank is. But yeah guys Another feeling I got about this was like, if Cat Noir says he did it, and like, they practically scanned Cat Noir, and he was telling the truth about not knowing, and about not doing it. So, if Cat Noir was telling the truth that he said he didn't do it, it means there was another Cat Noir that did it. And that's where I say, doesn't Cat Noir, like Adrian Agress, like, have a cousin, Felix, who's like, literally... Who literally looks just like him. This is one of the characters I know very well. I can remember Felix as his cousin because Adrian's mother is the sister to Felix's mother. So they are cousins. And like Felix looks just like him. And on top of that, like it's like identical. But the only thing that differentiates them is like Adrian has this uh, hair that's just... Adrian has this hair that's really crazy. I mean, you can all see it. Adrian has like a puffy... His hair is really uh, crazy. Adrian just has a crazy hairstyle. But like Felix has a gentle, slick bangs. You get what I mean? He has front forehead bangs. So that's what differentiates them. And like Felix looks kind of different. Plus he's very rich. Well, they're both very rich. And But Felix wears more like fancy clothes. So guys, I don't really understand because I heard the Miraculous Ladybug is coming to an end. And like Felix has a part to play in it. And like at the end cat I don't understand I'm not really watching it I don't think I'm gonna watch the end I might watch the end just to see how it ended but I'm not sure guys but if I don't end up watching the end and if you watch it just let me know how the end went but god guys just tell me what you think in the comments is it Felix is it Cat Blank I don't know or is it Cat Noir but he was telling the truth let's just move on so we have a CC Prime in the building 
This has to be the craziest plot twist ever. Yeah, guys, you can all remember CC King ended up being Adam's brother. Shocking reveal ever because I didn't even guess that. I didn't even guess Oliver would turn out being the brother. There were double sides. It was confusing, but still juicy. But, like, we all remember in the end of that episode, I don't know if it was the end of that episode, but, like, it was the end of an episode. Just let me know which episode it was. We can remember that CC One was talking to his new boss. What? I was like, who's he working for now? I talked about it. I can remember I talked about it. CC1 having a new boss. And it ends up being CC Prime, a woman. Thought it would be a man, but like more woman villains because we don't even know what the Queen of Snakes. Okay, let's just talk about what we have here. So CC Prime. I don't even want to start guessing who she is right now because my mind is going to explode. My brain is just going to explode right now. But, like, the fact she has red hair, I feel like Ariel, but I don't even get motive. There's no motive. Because I want to say Ariel, but she has no motive. So, yeah. Now, I don't even know who it is. Because Ariel is a good girl, but, like, there could always be a plot twist. It could have been a fake Ariel, you know? But that would be the craziest plot twist ever. Because she's been with a... You know what? I want to say Ariel, but one, Ariel has no motive. She has no reason to become CC Prime, kidnap Supergirl, and yeah. But anyways, let's jump into the more uh, crazy matters. The fact that kidnapping Supergirl was a distraction. So, gosh, this thing is getting harder. But like. When we first started this series episodes, it was so easy. Like, every time I would give a theory, it would end up being it. But now, I can't even say anything anymore. Like, seriously. But, like, the fact that kidnapping Supergirl was a distraction for a much bigger and worse chaos at Starlight. Now, what is that chaos? What? First of all, who is CC Prime? And, like, why is she just causing chaos? And what is that chaos? Nobody knows. Seriously, guys. Just leave it in the comments who you think is CC Prime. I don't want to say Ariel. I'm just going to say Ariel. Just in case a plot twist comes up and it's really Ariel. Like, it would be too obvious if it was Ariel, right? Because of the red hair. I don't know. But, guys, just see who you think it is. And leave in the comments what chaos you think is happening at Starlight. Because they didn't really show us more of Starlight in this episode. They just showed us Ladybug and Cat Noir's... Uh, friendship scenes and fighting scenes too so we didn't get much of mal and the rest and the princesses so no one knows what chaos could be happening at starlight right now but it's the biggest just leave comments what you think anyways let's move on to the last one we have so guys cc prime dropped her phone that you're a you're a top villain try to do something really mischievous and really devious and you just drop your phone like that wow smart and a move but we all do it right anyways so she dropped her phone and like it's ringing and we all remember that tune starlight by the super pops who could forget that tune that's one of their greatest songs has to be my favorite but there are a lot of good songs so but yeah, CC Prime dropped her phone and they told Wonder Woman to pick it and she was so scared and she said she was going to pick it and I was like, it should best not end here. Just best not end here, please. And it just ended there and I'm, I'm like so anxious. What? Like, who could be calling CC Prime? And like, it, the whole episode is just brainstorming because the whole thing happening with Cat Noir and like... The DC superhero girls are like much more crazier. Their events are becoming really crazy. The phone, the way they were, you know, zooming in on the phone as if something important was gonna happen, so I really want it to happen. But like, we'll never know until the next episode. <sighs> yeah, we'll never know until the next episode. That may take a long time. But of course, we are gonna know. We're still gonna know. But yeah, so like, what could be in that phone, guys? What do you think is in that phone? Who could be calling CC Prime? Whoever's calling her is obviously like her accomplice or something. Is it the real CC3? What's up? I don't really know, but like, 
who could be calling her? Who could she be in accomplice with? Let me just let me know. Maybe it's Elsa. I mean, I'm saying it's Ariel, so maybe it's Elsa, but I'm just talking gibberish, so I don't think it's it. So, yeah, that was actually the last one, guys. And I'm really sorry, but no shout outs today. I really gotta go. <laughs> like I said, I'm sorry, guys, but yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with me in this episode. It was amazing. There was really a lot to obsess over. A lot to talk about. Let me let me just know what you guys think about all these mysteries. Let me know your theories. Let me know your opinions. Or maybe just a little bit of idea. It doesn't really have to be a whole theory. Just maybe a small pitch in. A small fix. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you love the theories episodes. Don't forget to share with friends and family and turn on your bell notification so you don't, never miss any of my videos. And yeah, guys, thank you for sticking with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hashtag Vicky Nation. Bye. Love you. Looks just like a city of blinding lights.